a lot of celebrities it was really really difficult because they wanted to wear red and it was black that season they wanted to wear black it was red so I had to build things I had to have things made at the last minute you know oh. the shoot the next day and so I kept collecting things because I knew that would happen it was always either white red black back then this is in the 90s and they had crazy money to spend but to have these things even it didn't exist so I started keeping things. Every season I would buy the best Gucci dress. I would buy the best. And I kept buying and buying and buying before I found out that uh, there was no room for my daughter to sleep. <laughs> it was just rooms and rooms of clothes. So, And um, I had a lot of friends who needed a lot of clothes for photo shoots. So basically we were very friendly and I would lend them clothes and then finally it became a business. <laughs> It's all by name, designer, so here's McQueen, here's Alaya. It goes in alphabetical order, and Balenciaga, and Balmain, and... So yeah, I've been privileged enough okay, to have... Okay, okay. <laughs> ...to have great designers in my world. And so your idea also, because we're talking about editors, and magazines, and photographers, but you also have private clients, like... You I know, do. we uh, dress a lot of celebrities ourselves, yes. We charge a service fee, but we dress them and they have editors dressing them so it it works for them on so many different levels right they're not forced into a store and you know oh, you look beautiful you look beautiful even when they don't so we're really honest it's to my advantage that they look fabulous because they're going to be photographed in it of and course so, and and they don't feel obliged and they don't feel obliged to, by, one to, to, by one designer exactly but the designer sometimes they must be pissed off with you because you, they want actually the same client as yours to buy their like 2000 uh well i buy it i buy it and i make you them buy look it. good yeah. here's the yeah. difference i yeah. buy it i make sure that they look really good okay now those same designers could be selling clothes where their women do not look perfect in it. They'd rather their yeah, no, women Yeah, no, you're look right. It's beautiful. actually true. By the way, whenever they do who wore it better, it's us who did it. <laughs> it is. <We laughs> I cut, know by we now. We cut them out. We cut them out. We go, oh, it was us. It's true, you know, they have the power of money to... Wear anything buy they want. Buy or wear exactly. anything they want, but they would come here because I think it's kind of a pleasure and like a, you, you feel like a little child, you know, you, you feel like a have so many, yeah, you so many like a, I think, possibilities. I think that's what it is. Um, I, I, it started, I actually started realizing it in 1990, Elle magazine did a story about me as a stylist and editor and I had just begun to think about doing this and I got dressed by a designer and felt compelled to wear his clothes and uh, it didn't suit me. I won't say who the designer is, but it didn't really suit me. And I realized I felt pressured as do, for the first moment, like wake up call, as most celebrities feel pressured. If you walk into a designer's home, showroom, you feel that you have to walk out wearing their clothes, even if it isn't the best for you. Yeah. It takes a lot of courage to say no. Yeah. So here they don't have to do that because I can they put together my favorite choices and you know, make sure that that it's the best for them. I, yeah. I, um, I guess the difference is I'm not owned by anybody, so I have the freedom. I want to 
wanted to um, to ask you, do you really still keep every dress? Because how do you do with the uh, space? Because you keep buying and I, yeah, you yeah. always move or you, you get rid of dresses that uh, are maybe out of fashion? <laughs> Unfortunately, it's very funny. I own... Uh, I own this. Whole, I own the building. <laughs> I own this whole floor. My apartment is on that side, and every once in a while, I realize that if I keep growing, that apartment is going to be part of the office. We've already taken on another space downstairs, so it's all menswear downstairs. So I've, you know, I own that floor too. Um, I, oh, I don't but it's really amazing know. to live right next to it. It's, it's basically <laughs> your closet. <laughs> <laughs>